proud. I like said I'm over 25 years in IT, so I've seen a lot of changes in IT. I used to manufacture modems on Lisa Street back in the day. I used to connect up terminals, Windows terminals, to big IBM mainframe computers. From way back in the old days. Uh, but in, for the last four or five years, I've been involved with the cloud, cloud computing. I'm going to run through cloud today. Kind of, you might oversight what the cloud is about. But there's no argument about, about the cloud. The cloud is a game changer for IT. So what I've been doing for the last 25 years is completely redundant. But I'm going to go do it for the next 10 years. So my industry is completely changing. IT is completely changing as we know it today. And I'll run through a few examples of that and slides this morning. So listen, I'm not going to kill you with a presentation. I just have a couple of slides and I'm going to do a demo. I love doing demos, even though they're live demos. I normally do demos during the week from the guys in the office, uh, demo buddies in the office. Uh, I couldn't get a demo buddy, so my wife is going to be my demo buddy today. I had a lot, I had a lot of brownie points now to make up, but hopefully I get her online before I finish and show you how we work in the cloud together. Okay, so I'm going to touch on what the cloud is. People always ask me, it's not secure. Is the cloud secure? I'm touching it. Uh, I'm going to show you what's, what, the cloud, what the differences are. Your office today, what's going, cloud office, what's coming in. Okay, and I'm going to finish off with a demo. Now, for the demo, it's going to be geared at sort of small startup businesses, small offices. Really, the demo is going to be about showing you as a business today what you can do on the cloud for free. Okay, so, you know, we touched on the last speaker, I was here for Chris, Bo Chris Brogan's uh, Skype. And Chris says, listen, it's very hard to know where to start on the cloud. You know, so much out there, where do we start, what do we do? It's a marathon. So when I'm getting businesses online, I'm saying, listen, guys, it's a journey into the cloud. It's a journey. You're not going to, it's not like a marathon. You don't show up and say, I'm going to run a marathon today and I'm going to go training for it. The cloud's a bit like that. It's going to take us six, 12 months before you say, no, I'm ready to run this marathon, which is the cloud. And I'm going to give you one landing page, just one URL, and it's going to deliver everything for you. And that's what I'm going to do when I do my demo. So it's going to deliver email. It's going to deliver documents, it's going to deliver storage, it's going to deliver a counting system, it's going to deliver CRM, it's going to deliver social media. So just one landing page. You know, I know it sounds like a lot, but you can just start off, if you start off with baby steps, and by the end of six months you say, yeah, you can totally in America the cloud. Okay, so kicking off, well it's tempted to put up a, you know, with the Wikipedia and put up a, you know, what is the cloud, put up the Wikipedia definition, but I didn't understand it, so I said I wouldn't put it up, but give my own definition of the cloud. The cloud, cloud computing is all about the internet. So the internet is the cloud. It's 100% web. So today, you know, you can't see behind the screen. I'm not actually using a computer for this presentation. I'm using a terminal. Remember I said I used to sell terminals years and years ago? This is actually a terminal that I'm using today. So it's not even a computer. So I'm online. If I show you, I'm not lying here. See this URL here? So that's a URL. That's an internet URL. So what this presentation is on the internet. I can actually go in any device. So I can go into my phone, hit drive, which is my documents here. I can see all my documents, all my office documents. I can open up that presentation, connect it to the web. Connect it to so just connect to the Wi-Fi network here. And it'll bring up in a couple of seconds my presentation. So that's cloud computing. Cloud computing is everything you do, it lives out there on the web, in data centers, delivered to any device. Now let's go full screen again. <coughs> okay. So there's three types of clouds out there. I'm sure you just you know hear the radio every day, like you know, people talking about the cloud. Even I'm confused when I hear people on selling cloud. I'm thinking, that's not cloud. So the best way to Let's describe the cloud. There's three different types of clouds, okay? And for your as businesses, you only one cloud you're concerned about. But I will mention the three. The first one we call, you know, hardware or storage, the hardware storage cloud, or referred to as infrastructure as a service. So these clouds are for very large businesses who no longer want to buy hardware. To go out to the big cloud providers, Amazon and Rackspace, and say, give us loads of servers, we're not buying anymore, and we just tap into them. That's hardware as a service. It doesn't really concern small to medium business. 
The next one up, the cloud is what we call the application development cloud. So this cloud developer, software developer use it. So what's happening today, and I see it every day, I meet businesses, there's a rush to the cloud. So Microsoft are rushing to the cloud. Sage accounts are rushing to the cloud. You know, there's people say, listen, we need to get to the cloud because traditionally we're using on-premise software, but more and more businesses are <coughs> going forward. So we've lots of now new developers out there writing, not only writing apps for Android or Apple, but they're also writing apps for the, for the web, for the cloud. So a couple of companies I work with write a, you know, accounting, an accountancy software app or a CRM app. And these apps, they use a platform, which is the middle cloud here, and there's basically two providers, Microsoft and Google. So they don't actually have to buy all the development software, they don't have to buy all the storage, they don't have to buy all the equipment. You just log on to the app, app developer cloud and write your application and then publish it out on the internet. Again, no, that's the second cloud. But last but not least is the third cloud. So this is what I'm talking about today. This is the most important cloud of all, what we call it the application cloud. <coughs> because business, when you log on, you switch on your computer more than you when you're going to open up Word, you open up your email, Excel, you know, you open up Skype, or whatever it is, it's the application that's most important to businesses. <coughs> and I'm going, to demo, I'm going to demo these apps later on today. So the cloud office, it's all, I say it's all about the app. And a few of you want to see some names up there, like Google and Zoho and the rest. I'm sure everyone here, or most people here, maybe have used Gmail, or use Gmail. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So that's the really the first Gmail is out. G Gmail, nearly seven years, maybe ten years at this stage only. So that's the first yeah. really cloud app. Salesforce, CRM, they're on the market within ten years. So more and more our companies are coming on and putting their product on, onto that, onto the cloud. So, you know, I always get this, I do a lot of seminars with Google, and people say, listen, I'm not going onto the cloud because it's not secure. You know, it's the cloud out there. I haven't got a clue what the data is. It's just not secure. And I say it really couldn't be far from the truth. Because it's more secure than what you're doing today. There was a survey carried out in the States a couple of months ago by cloud providers asking small businesses, a lot of, you know, a couple of hundred businesses in the States went to the cloud, and asked them, why did you move to the cloud? <coughs> and I'm thinking, I know the answer, this one is cost. It's much cheaper to go to the cloud. That was actually the top of the second one was security. It's more secure, or data was more secure, and they felt their data was more secure on the cloud than it was in the, in the current office environment. More secure than these things here. If you have these here, I don't know if people have used USB keys yet. It's one place for them. I used to tell people to put them in the bin, but I got a CRV box during the week, and you went back to the CRV box, you plug in these and record. So don't put them in the bin, you just use them for your CRV box, but do not use them for storing data. And the number one thing that they said that moved to the cloud for was collaboration. So businesses, you know, businesses today, you know, are getting the tough and it's okay, how can we how can we innovate? How, how can we stay one head of competition? And it's all about collaboration, it's all about working in teams. Now, I live in Bayra, I go into Dublin twice a week. But yet I'm constantly online, I'm constantly working in teams, we do tenders, I don't have to be sitting at my desk in the office because I'm on the cloud working on all these applications with a group with my team members. I do a lot of work with Google. Again, we do a lot of video calls, a lot of conferences, a lot of sharing documents, all online, on the cloud. And that collaboration, as a business for the last four years, helped us to be a lot more productive than what we were after this. Like, we can do a tender, for instance, we done, I done a tender last Monday. Normally, a tender would take me three days. We put a tender every day. You know, shared it out, three or four people joined it, we all worked in the one tender for the one day and got the document finished. Because we're all working on one version of the one document at the same time. And that's the beauty of cloud. And that's as a business where you need to start. That's a starting point. An email, we'll talk about email later on as well, but that's really your starting point, is about collaboration. And when people say, people say to you it's not secure, give them my number and I'll talk to them. Because it's more secure. Like we are an IT security company, big security networks, which I didn't mention. And we manage firewalls for companies right across the globe. Kingspan, Enterprise Ireland, Aer Lingus, Hidden Hotel Group. We manage our firewalls. So we protect their data on a global basis. And we have guys, security guys in-house. And we know as a business that we cannot secure data as good as the Microsofts or the Googles out there in this world. So for us, we trust our data out with Google. So what's gone? Server. First thing to go. So 
in the business, you know, we just take this big beast in the corner, make the long lines on 24 7, and take a lot of electricity off, and guys come in, you know, every month to fix it and tweak it and add more storage to it. That's the first thing that goes. Because you don't need it anymore. You know, plenty of storage, plenty of horsepower out there on, on the internet, on the cloud. So it's like, you know, you don't, you know, you come in here and switch on lights. You haven't got a, you know, power station down here or generate your own electricity. It's on the grid, you switch it on. So all this horsepower lives on the grid. It's on the internet grid, it's on Google's grid, it's on Microsoft grid, it's on Amazon's grid. We come in, we switch it on, everything's there. We don't have to worry about updates, maintenance, you know, buying software, buying additional hardware. So that's what we say we get back to the traditional IT. So before the end of this decade, you know, 25 years in IT, before the end of this decade, all that's gone. You know, you as a business, look, IT would be utility. IT would purely become utility. And I'll show you devices later on, what you'd be using in your office. So there we go, I've Firewalls. <coughs> How many business firewalls? Half my business, we do firewalls. They're gone. What's a firewall? You know, everyone knows what a firewall is. What's it there? What's it protecting? The hardware. Protecting your hardware, protecting your data. It's gone now. It's up in the cloud. So there's nothing to protect anymore. I'm here, I don't need a firewall for my phone. I don't need a firewall because I have no data here. It's all up in the cloud. So we, we've been in the firewall business since 1987. 1987 we're in the firewall business, and we know it's business. End of the decade, no more firewalls. Okay, I'll go on. Thank God. Another one here. PCs, oh, the greatest pain of my life, computers. They're gone. You know, you're sitting there, you can try get this guy, the dude in the marbles up here. <laughs> but, you know, PCs, I, I've been running from day dot from putting PCs together. You know, I started off in Macintosh, and I've gone into IBM, I used to bin these things, service them, put them together put operating systems on them. Greatest being in my life, and always have been, especially when I come home to character, people say, Paul, can you come have a look at this computer? <laughs> God, that's why I just think I don't come back home anymore, because I know <laughs> it's going to look at someone's computer. I can back on, especially at Christmas, you know, if you back home at Christmas, everyone's there, and everyone has that computer or a laptop, and pop, 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 computer. That's why husband is gone, you know what I mean? So last Christmas, I said, I'm coming home, but don't buy laptops, so I can back home, down to my brother's house, he's a, Son in Australia, he's a daughter in London, his wife, you know, just about to switch on the computer. And he said, I always get the job fixed up the computer. So I got them all these Chromebooks. I said, listen, you need to get these internet TVs, that's what I call them. You switch them on, they're all in seven seconds, they're online, they're doing all the video conferencing, they're all having a chat and switch them off again. So I never have to be near those machines again to fix them, to put a patching on them, to put antivirus on them. I never get a phone call. That's since Christmas. I haven't got one phone call to say, Paul, something's gone wrong. So that's one, that's one thing about business. When you're looking at your business thinking, you know, these, these machines are constantly getting someone into looking to fix them. But those days, you know, I say by the end of this decade, definitely those days are gone. Again, thank God, we're here. Software, again, all software, like I said, is going to be, it's going to the cloud, going to the cloud rapid. And I'll show you a couple of applications you can use today. Yes, we're not dwelling too much in it. Cabling, again, the days of putting no wireless is here, the days of putting these cables directly in to your laptop is all going to be replaced now by access points and offices. So you have one piece of cable coming in to one, one, one router, your broadband router, and then you've got these access points to throughout your office because everyone's bringing their own device to work, whether it's their Apple iPad or their phone or their own laptop, you just want to connect wirelessly, you don't want to be plugging in cables to it. So the days I used to run a lot of cable, again, those days are over. And like I mentioned, thumb drives. Have them, just use them for your Chevy box. Do not do not update them. I mean, the horror stories I've seen, especially in colleges, that people at this time of year they're doing their dissertation, it's all on the USB key. They're walking around the college with the whole year of work on the USB key. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. You know what I mean? Hit when the students seem to be, you know, because if you're in college, you should know that's the same thing. But it's like, that's a two gig USB drive. Cost, whatever. I, have, I can have five gigs of free storage online. So I have five gigs. As a consumer, I have five free gigs online. So I have this. And I can access it from any device. So share your box, lads. Okay. So what's coming in? Uh, cloud apps, I mentioned, we'll go into that. Wireless access points, I mentioned, no cable iPads, we all love them. Some people hate them. I'm not an Apple fan, but there you go. Social media. I know where uh, Chris Rogan touched the social media. I was delighted Chris touching Google Plus. I'm a Google fan, I don't work for Google, I love what I've been around for the last couple of years. I do use you know, LinkedIn, I do a bit of uh, tweaking, but uh, Google Plus, and I'll show you during the demo, guys. You know, it's a marathon. Now, the states, you know, 
the more, the more kind of west you go in the state of Silicon, all the staff stay up, and eventually it feeds true. He made a great point about Facebook. I actually have I had to get a Facebook account for over six months, but I don't use Facebook. But Google Plus for business is absolutely one of the best, the cheapest marketing tools you can have for your business. So I'm going to show you the screen, and I think you've got us enough to take in. The one screen I'm going to show you has everything on it, from social to email to documents to storage to accounting systems to collaboration. But definitely start looking at it and get your profile up there and talk to your suppliers and talk to your customers because this is the best and fantastic way to prove the equipment. Smartphones, the Samsung Galaxy 2, looking forward to getting the Samsung Galaxy 3. <laughs> Chromebook, that's it there, you can't see it, but pass it around after. Uh, internet only monitors. You want to have a big monitor with a keyboard, but that big thing that's underneath it is making noise and that's gone. So you're going to have your wireless internet connected, over the keyboard, and off you go. So there, and there, beginning to hit, beginning to hit up as today. And uh, obviously all depends on fast reliable broadband. Uh, so that's, you know, I think broadband is even on the bay, you're on like, you know, eight megs coming out, three miles in the sticks, you know, good solid broadband. So all of this obviously is applying on a good solid broadband connection. Or a 3 Demo, so, okay, so I don't like, uh, so I'm going to put out this, and we're going to go into a quick demo. So this, you all see this here, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. So as you can see here, that's just a, a URL. It's called mail.google.com. This is a test, a test domain. I said I'll call it SMB accounts, small to medium business accounts. But this is everything. This is the only screen that you're going to need for cloud as a business. Okay, and all you get in there, I'll show you how to get in there. I just type. Go to a browser. Hands up, who uses Internet Explorer as a browser? Microsoft, you know, I use Microsoft. Who uses Chrome? And Firefox. Okay. I'd say Chrome or Firefox. Microsoft will be a bit slow dragging their heels in terms of cloud, in terms of technology. It's a slow browser. Get onto Chrome, get onto Firefox, because you need speed and you need ease of use. So I recommend those two. So you go into Chrome, you just type, I just type in mail.smbaccounts.com. There we go. Just type mail.smbaccounts.com. And you're into your main cloud suite. It's going to deliver everything you need. I set up two companies in time. So what do you need? You know, yeah, I need email, I need an office package that can write and save documents and spreadsheets, I need an accounting system, and I need a CRM system. So everything I'm going to show you now has all that for free. If you're less than if you're less than 10 users, it's all free, it just has to be set up here. But the rest is all free. Okay. So in here you can see, I look at the screen over here. So that's you know, you put your logo up there. Um, call it SMB account, so it's your own domain, it's not a Gmail address. Yeah, you know, because if you use the free version, you're going to be stuck with a bit of advertising here, but there's a business edition, it is the advertising piece, but we live with that because times are tight. Okay, I have 10, 10 uh, gigs of email storage here. 10 gigs, oh, that's about 10 years. <laughs> you know, so, so, you know, 10 years worth of email. You know, on the business side, it's 25 gigs, so I never see it like again before I get 25 gigs, to be honest. Uh, so loads of storage, present indicator, means people in my office, which I'm not using my office, I'm using this test when you see the wife's online and waiting there from there she is, in my cat in Jersey. She's going to be busy, give a heads up, she's going to be a busy day for me to monitor today. Uh, and then I have all my inbox and all my folders up here. I'm not going to show you how to use email today or Gmail, we all know how to use it. But that's the landing page and it's email. And if you see this panel called across the top, it's called the Google Panel Spot. So this is everything that you're going to need to do the cloud office. So with this one at the end, it's called Plus Paul. That's my social, that's my Google Plus. So that's where I do all my social activity in there. I create my profile, tell people, if I'm on there all week, tell people I'm here this week, I'm launching a new product. You know, if I want to do a Hangout, which I'll show you later on, the Google Club Hangouts, I hate the word, but I think that's a great product. Uh, uh, okay, I'm moving over. Mail and Drive. This used to be called, I know people use Gmail, People use Gmail never really went across this bar. It used, used to be called Documents, it's now called Drive. Now what that is, that's five free gigs of storage. Okay? And you can download Drive for your laptop, you can download it for your PC at home, and you just drag stuff into it. It's an icon, it sits on your desktop and you drag stuff into it, and it populates everything here. This is a blind one. I go into my business one there. This one is my business account, you see it's slightly different, no advertisement. And if I go into Drive here, 
every office document I ever have, you know, within the office is all there. From Word, you know, to Google Docs, to PowerPoints, to presentations, everything here. I click here my drive, I can't see that tab there. Even I have no laptop. I just created a folder on Google Drive. I just dragged everything over to it. Just with your simple strike and drop. You went to your computer, get the folder and drag it into here and it transfers the whole lot over. So now you have a full backup. So my, I retired my own ASR. So I'm now using this. So that's my, that's my business one. I'll tip back into my, my demo one. Okay? So that's Drive. And again, when you're in Drive, So people, you know, you look, small business, we're all looking at, you know, first, oh well, yeah, we need Microsoft Office. We need Word, I need Word, I need Word, I need Excel, I need all the days, bits and pieces. If you ask me two years ago, should I, should I get Office, I'd say, yeah, you need Office. Ask me 12 months ago, do we need Office? I'd say, definitely not. I haven't used Microsoft Office, and I'm a 19, 25 years. I haven't used Office, I don't know, in, in a year. I don't need to. Okay? <coughs> so that's all there. So again, you can use all your, you can create, Documents, presentations, spreadsheets, and all as good as Microsoft Office. And again, like I said, it's all free to free license here. You know. Okay, just going back to them, I've got me one minute. I got me one minute there. <laughs> so I went to Frida. I just quickly yeah, check Frida. So I just said, I'm just going to do it. I just do chat here. Just say hi first of all. Okay. Oh, hi, how are you? When we're under time pressure, so I'll just do a video call. Hopefully, she's on the way. She can't see you, so she can walk me home. She's not a closed line anyway today, anyway. She's, the kids are there, she's, she, she should be knocking around. Let that be. So, this is like, again, this is all for This is like, who do Skype? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, this is stuff this. This is high definition video, so she's not there. This is what we're doing here. Google, if you think Google, you know Google, they're the third largest internet service provider in the world. And they only carry their own traffic. Unlike Skype, you're hopping from hopping, you're hopping from through different you're hopping from different networks. And you lose, you know, you might use that quality of screen, you might lose your voice. So the Google video here is high definition. High definition video. And, and there's a fantastic one here, here is the next one. Up there, I'll just show you the last one. Here she is. I got now ready to. So she's there, she's there now. She, I'll just click her again. So you show us. You might see the quality of the video coming up there. And the state of the house. That's the office scene. Hello? 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 How are you? I'm not smiling well yourself. That's good. Thanks for coming in. I know, no, you can't see anyone because you're, you're facing me, but there is a few people here behind me, or front of me, should I say. Good. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do an online collaboration because I'm, I, I'm out of time. I'm on the yellow card. I'm on the yellow card. <laughs> so I'm just going to do, do a quick video of Google Plus. I got you back on the hangout for you, that. Okay, sir. Thanks, bye-bye. So the last thing I want to finish off, I was going to show you how to collaborate online. I'm out of time, but I'm, I can, I'm here the whole day if people want to see it. But the last thing I want to show you, this is absolutely Mind blown stuff for me. I'm in 25 years, I still get excited about this stuff, you know? This is called Google Plus. So, this is your main, again, it's just to let, it's all your social, it's all social, all your social, social, social media. You can, you know, follow people. Again, there's circles in, you know that movie, yeah. what's it called? Uh, uh, Meet Me Talkers, Circles of Trust. Again, it's all about circles of trust. So, I have a circle here just called Mother. So, I can just send photographs to Mother and write a letter, and the only person in the world that sees it is me. Okay, again, I have all my business followers, I have all my suppliers, very good. But this thing here is fantastic. Because if you use Skype, you're going to love this thing here. If I can find it, I'll go home. And it's called uh, a Hangout. See this thing here? It's not a Hangout. This guy here. Hangout. That's video conferencing. 10 to 1 video conferencing. So you can invite 10 other people onto you and do a high definition video on conference call. Okay? So. Just begin in there. Let's go open that in a second. I can then invite anyone with, you know, anyone with a Google account, so I go in here. I will oh, take all these circles in, so I'll just get bring that. Okay. And then I'm going to do that. I also invite myself. I'll finish there.
So I'm going to hang out. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you one option, which I'm not going to do today. I know you do go on at the back here, you might like this. See this one here? Hangouts on air. You know what that is? That's a TV station. If I went, if I went hang out on air now, I could broadcast live. I could broadcast this live event any, to anyone in the world. To get a URL, to log on, and they're just in like a TV station. So I can broadcast it live. So I don't know if you're in the business of showing people how you make cakes or how you make pizza or you can actually do it there with a live camera, send out inv invites as you do it, and anyone from around the world can come in and watch it live. It's a TV station. That's exactly what it is. And not only that, it automatically records it, and people can watch it out on YouTube. There you go. So this is it. You hang out here. Let's <coughs> <coughs> be finished now. Just barely hang out. Okay. So you see there's, there's a little bit of feedback there. Um, so there's two of us on. So that's coming off my coming off my phone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I always get away at the But that's that's quite good to hang out as well. That's all. I'm here for the rest of the day. software. The problem is that the person that you're sending to can't open it because they might not have the up-to-date version, whatever it is. Yeah. And, you know, and might use Microsoft 93, 97, whatever yeah. it is, and you're in 2010. How does this apply? You can open up any document. No, the person I'm sending it to. The person you're sending, you can save it as, as a Microsoft doc all right. and send it. Okay. Or you can share it as a doc. Collaboration is all about sharing. The days of, here's the attachment, here's the attachment, here's the attachment. You just send it and share the link, and it's a document, or you can send a Microsoft, okay. or you can send a PDF. Or you can view up to 40 different types of various with different documents on Google Plus. So it's just a question in, in terms of that little more complicated type of thing than, uh, let's say, in, in the spreadsheets, if you're doing pivot tables and that kind of stuff. Is yeah. those type of things? Uh, yeah, pivot tables are there, like high end macros are not there. Yeah. So if you have, I call them, you have the, the high end Excel user, you know, the account of the large business, yeah, but 90% of people yeah, know it's yeah, there. Awesome. And, it's, you know, it's, and it's, it's even much better than Excel. There's yeah. a lot more in it. It's all web based. Mm -hmm. and put more, more stuff in there. One meg is perfect. One meg is well, one meg is for when once you're online, yeah. one meg is low. Like you're not, you know, you're not initially the one meg really <coughs> suffer just when you're putting stuff up there, initially when you're taking all your historical data and moving <coughs> it up to the cloud. But once you're up, once it's up there, one meg is Oh my I can do that over 3G. I can do I can do video conferencing. I do over I normally I don't normally put in the wireless, I just normally use my phone and go out through 3G. It's perfect. Like, what I just use I use a, the phone here has a the phone here. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh, it has you know it has a hot point, it has a, a hot spot, why it's hot spot, so I just connect to this. You know, and it's, it's perfect. You don't need the whole lot for it. Because that one there, we've a, I've seen we actually don't have broadband coming through our line, we use the dongle. Does that yeah. affect that there? Are you dongles, yeah, you know, and dongles, it depends on your provider, like some dongles are weak, some are good, you know. Strong, it's high, it's just, high, yeah. Oh then you're gonna be good to go. So we don't need them. Okay. You don't want to be good to go. But broadband is the key. You have, you know, have your dominant. If you get, get a line if you can, you know what I mean? Get creative dial there, there, maybe you're not knowing about it. <laughs> just, just, just one thing on the, on the dominant. I used to use dominant for a 20 quid a month, for the iPad, 20 quid a month for a USB stick. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
of course, but it's free. I, don't, I pay for all you can eat. So. I, I know TV in the house. So that's yeah, all you need. So it's not, you, don't, you don't pay for data anymore. Yeah. That one Sorry, Mr. Gare's on the back of the bus when they get in here. Sorry, ladies. Well, I want to know about storage. Storage. There's five, there's five, five gigs of storage for non-Google non documents. Can you offer? Oh, you can take the whole world off. I took my own my last laptop I had, I just dragged it all into it. Every document on it. So it's all there now. The laptops can gather dust at home. So you can get more than five gigs? You can buy more than five gigs. You can buy, you can buy 16 gigs. terabytes. Okay. Which is enough for the whole country, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and very low cost, like, you know, I think 25, oh, about a couple of dollars, five dollars a month, I think, for 25 gigs, it's very, like, you, you, the scale is the thing in the cloud, you're not, you know, you're not buying one machine, like, you're Google at data centers across the globe, and the, the, the storage is nothing anymore, just, five you know, what you want, but five gigs is the whole system. Can I just ask, I know you're saying about the cloud is very, very secure, and I, I really fully take that on board, but it must be, you know, what are the negatives in terms of security on the cloud? You know, I mean, there's... Yeah, for me, there's, negative, there's, but, like, know, from, uh, there's no, there's no negative against... No. Like, as long as you, the key thing is, as long as you get the right, pick the right cloud provider. So go to Microsoft, you know, Google, or, yeah. you know, there's all the providers out there, you know, to talk about cloud, but they're actually hosting centers. People host, yeah. so people will take their own environment and say, yes, and we host that for you in our data center. So that's, that's the bit that's the bit that's not cloud. People call it cloud, but it's not actually yeah. cloud. Cloud's about, you know, the bigger players who have multi-tenant, <coughs> multiple data centers all backed up. Like, for instance, that data I have there today, it's in two different data centers, and it's backed up three different times in two data, data centers. So I have 0% data loss. And I have 99.984% uptime. So I'm never offline. And it can't go down the way... 99.98. I've never, I'm using four years now, never, I've never... Never done it. 99.94% off time. It's just, you know, now there are times it does go down for a small community. Yeah, we've had experience with COVID and actually going down and upsetting down and stuff like that. Yeah, but you know, for me and Google, I'm on the Google platform. Once you go to these, Microsoft have experience in downtime, but 365, because I call it 362, because it was down a few days. But Google for me, it's definitely never going to the, um, with the operation of them, you know, like if somebody's mm -hmm. used to Word and Excel and all this kind of stuff. Oh, it's just it's it's the same time, same time, same time. Mm -hmm. And better. Do you see um, Google Plus overtaking Facebook in terms of social media? Absolutely, absolutely. And when do you think that will happen? I think when it'll happen, we, we, Google will be very fast. Look at the Android operating system. Like Android came out first, it's never going to take off. It's not its number one operating system for mobile phones in the world. Left Nokia, Nokia, you can see what Nokia are in trouble, Blackberry are in trouble. Apple shares are a wee bit different because people who know it say, listen, yeah, Android's really going to kick in there. Samsung are kicking ass. You know, for me, Google Plus, it's that the way it's started and it's coming, we're not going to stop it. And for very much as a business, outside of what Facebook can do, but Google Plus is really going to be for business. How many people are using Google Plus now? Google Plus is only, only around 250 million. To 900 million of people. Uh, yeah, so it's not like, as, as Chris said in his speak, it's not about, it's not about <coughs> who's using it. It's about, are your customers using it? And yes, Google Plus not. Today. I'm on Google Plus now seven months, and I'm finding it so, so slow. Nobody, I yeah, well, can't yeah, get anybody. Chris gave me a great website there as well. Remember, we hear for Chris's. Chris, 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 Sorry, folks, I don't mean to rush in or anything like that, but we're on different deadlines. I, I, I mean, you don't have to go, but the next thing up is the pizza, so it's, it's your call. <laughs> Can I thank Paul very much? Can I just ask you one question from a message? No, 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 no question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.